Hey, hope you're having a great day so far. Today is February 11th, Thursday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets very quickly, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, and see how they could potentially affect the altcoin markets in the short-term future before diving into new cipher, new USD, and see what exactly has gone on in this market since the last time I've spoken. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me, as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. So still giving away two free stocks as of today upon a successful sign-up and a qualifying deposit of $100. US and I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculation opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future, and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it's extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. Now, see what exactly is going on in this market first. Most importantly, I do take a look at Bitcoin dominance. It tells me what the money can be trending into, whether it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither. Currently on Bitcoin dominance right now, we are up about 1%. This breaks down to Bitcoin price action up about 5%, while total altcoin market cap is only up less than 30%. So this is the upside of Bitcoin dominance trending upwards. Bitcoin price action is going to be leading that of total altcoin market cap. Of course, there's going to be uh, exceptions for smaller altcoins that are gaining much more than the total altcoin market cap. But total altcoin market cap is the average, and, total, and Bitcoin price action is leading that of the gains of the total altcoin market cap on the upside of Bitcoin dominance trending upwards. Now, of course, ideally, I emphasize Bitcoin dominance trending downwards because on the upside of Bitcoin dominance trending downwards would be that total altcoin market cap on average is leading the gains of Bitcoin price action. So let's see if this is going to be the case. The daily time frame is still my focus here on Bitcoin dominance. So right now it does seem like we do have a rejection here, okay, of the daily uh, by the daily 200 MA. If we start making new lows here and breaking the 60% level without bullish divergence on the RSI, I'll be a lot more inclined to believe that Bitcoin dominance will continue trending downwards in the short term future, which is more ideal for the altcoin price action. Now let's go over to the Bitcoin price action here and see uh, where exactly we are at since the last time we have spoken. Excuse me for uh, the chickens outside. Um, and we do still have price action here still intact with my initial estimates of these two uh, trend lines here, okay? If Bitcoin price action actually breaks above this top trend line, I'll be more inclined to believe that Bitcoin price action will continue making new highs and start a new trend here. However, if Bitcoin actually pulls back to the bottom trend line or some more, then this will validate uh, what it seems to be a rising watch pattern for now. Okay. And when Bitcoin price action actually pulls back, this could have an effect on the altcoin price action. And the magnitude of that effect would depend on how far up or down Bitcoin dominance is trending. So I'll still pay attention to what's going on in Bitcoin price action here. Now let's go over to the new cipher real quick and see what exactly has gone on since the last time we have spoken. Since the last time I have spoken, I did mention that on the daily time frame, there was a pretty big cup and handle pattern. Measure target of that cup and handle pattern was about 52 cents. Measure tar uh, price action went as far as about 69 cents. So it has met that measure target and some more. Let's take a look into the higher time frames here and look out for any possible overbought RSI readings or bearish divergence scenarios. On the monthly time frame, we don't have an RSI reading, so I'm not concerned here. Neither do we on the weekly, so let's continue down to the three-day time frame where we do have a slight overbought uh, RSI reading of about 73. I'm not too concerned with that. And we don't have a possible bearish divergence scenario, so that's still good to me. On the daily time frame here, we are in an RSI reading of about 86, so pretty overbought. And the last RSI reading to actually beat uh, to negate bearish divergence would be about 90. Okay, 
So let's see if the price action on the daily time frame here, which closes in about two hours, can make a pretty decent move to continue going and negate possible bearish divergence, or would it be consolidating or even pull back from here? So this is my focus, this time frame. Let's go over to the hourly time frame and see what exactly I am dealing with here. On the hourly time frame, I do see a possible cup and handle pattern that is developing. Okay. So even though this cup and handle pattern has a bigger rounded bottom that's more skewed to the right side, I would still say that this is a cup and handle pattern. Uh, even though we have a very sharp left side of the rounded bottom with a very uh, more gradual side of the right side of the rounded bottom, this is still a cup and, uh, a cup and handle pattern to me with this bigger rounded bottom. You guys let me know what you think. Now I do see a, a smaller uh, rounded bottom here that's developing that could be the handle of the pattern. Okay, so measure target of this cup and handle pattern would be about the distance from the neckline, which I say to be about 66 cents, okay, which I can actually get a trend line across uh, quite a bit of these candles here, but I don't see an hourly candle close above the 66 cents level to be uh, exact, more approximate, okay, to be safe. The 66 le uh, cents level, okay. So seeing an hourly candle close to me, that would uh, be a safe signal that this uh, cup and handle pattern has been broken. Measure target here is about uh, 65 cents, about minus about 43 cents. It's about 22 cents difference. 87 cents would be the approximate, uh, would be the measure target, which is an approximate theoretical target only. May actually be different in real life price action, more or less. Let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case scenarios here. Bullish case scenario, price action breaks out of this cup and handle pattern, either with or without a full development of this uh, smaller rounded bottom of the handle. Getting hourly candle closes above the 66 cents area will be a safe signal for me. And staying closed above this top trend line, this uh, neckline of this cup and handle pattern, about 66 cents. So getting hourly candle closes and staying closed above the 66 cents, uh, 66 cents level and go towards its measure target. Bearish case scenario here. The next key resistance I am looking at will be this refreshed Fibonacci retracement level, currently about 55 cents. If we start getting hourly candle closes below 55 cents, this tells me that this smaller rounded bottom, which is also the handle of this cup and handle pattern, may actually be lower than expected. That would uh, indicate it to, uh, that would indicate to me that the uh, breakout of this cup and handle pattern may be delayed, or I might actually be looking another at another pattern instead that could be bearish. Now, these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I love to hear them. Hope you manage your risk carefully. And if you'd like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.